All right, people, welcome back. More League. So, yes. this is season one, week six, match two. We yep. finally have the match that everybody's been waiting for. We got Pod versus Kyle. Someone is winning some fucking points. I'm tired no, of this. They're gonna draw. They're gonna <laughs> draw. They're not gonna points. get any points. <laughs> All right, so tell what's up. All right, then. We have the Yuma Utopians Pot. Paul Pops? I, I said Paul Ups. Paul Ups? Paul Ups, yes. <laughs> you didn't know about Paul Ups? Anyway, Pops here with Necros, Volcanics, and Light Spawns under uh, zero points versus uh, the Yugi Dark Magicians, Kyle, who has Atlanteans, Trains, and Sylvans and has uh, zero points. <laughs> and great, we already started off really well. Both of them, Mulligan. Both of them. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh my god. So of Can course, you two they... not build a consistent fucking deck? <laughs> so of course they both had zero points. So someone's going to be the winner and someone's actually uh... going to get some points. Now whether they're going to make it to the playoffs or not, uh, no, I can't guarantee that. But you know, at least someone's actually going to not have zero points by the end of it. This is, a, this is the match I've been waiting for because I was just like, come on. We can clearly see... Too. We have tier one Negroes versus tier two trains. Negroes? So, Negroes, yeah. Tier one ne Negroes. Negroes. Hey, I mean, everybody I mean, knows I, that I, Negroes I thought, are the best. I mean, I didn't know they were an XC's based stack. I thought they were ritual, so I don't yeah. know why they'd be black. Nope, they're Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, hopefully. They're, uh. They're, uh, they're uh, that bitch from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory who eats sight, who becomes giant and blue. They're them. They're her. A deck full of her. So, we we got something. We got Pops, of course, is coming, trying to get that at least one point. He's trying to at least get one point with, of course, Necros. And uh, let's see how this goes down. Will it be like, oh, wow, uh, Necros, uh, they side against me so hard that I can't do shit, like how it usually goes down. Would possibly be gross. Or will Kyle actually finally learn how to use trains? Yeah. I I've got my money on Necros, I'm sorry. Because, God! Sometimes I just wonder about that. That Hustle Kyle. Russell, like, why do you play that? That's I don't know, I don't like that card. I don't see the point. It's such a dead draw. It's, a, it's like, yeah. what, when they attack, you can, like, spell, summon it and, like, destroy all your back row? Yeah, which why, is like, why, why would I do that? Do why that? the fuck would I do that when I have my Because it's a level 10 train, of course. No, like... no, I'd rather keep my field spell. Oh. No, no. Field spell is very important for trains. Trains wouldn't be anything without the field spell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're all about the field spell. So, uh, Pops went ahead and uh, dropped that uh, shit and summoned that Colossalus. Mm hmm. So, Goss is not bad. Of course, with one of the mulligan rolls, you gotta reveal your hand, and that pretty much revealed to each other what exactly what deck they're playing before the duel even got started, because they both mulliganed. They buffed fucking mulligans. So, obviously, Pops knows that he's going up against trains, and, uh, and Colossalus is not bad. It's not bad. You know? No. Nope. If you try to uh, use your Dora first, then he'll just chain the Colossus and negate you and drop you to zero. But then, if you're just like, frick it, I'll, you know, I'll just attack, and, uh, you know, they'll use the effect, and then I'll train the door, and then, I mean, costs can go out there and damage them, so, you have to start with real. Just go ahead and snack off yeah. a unicorn as well, so, how about just no effects? <laughs> yeah, how about you just get nothing? The classic, uh, Kaleido unicorn play with Harold. <laughs> Of course, we all know Nico is very powerful, very, very powerful. Still one of the most powerful decks in the game right now. It's, it's weird. Burning Vist and Cleese are kind of stuck down. It's, it's turned into a much more aggressive kind of game. It's interesting to see uh, trains go on defensive. I usually don't see trains set monsters. We're going to go ahead and see a banking yeah. of shrimp for the what entire I'm finding interesting, What I'm finding interesting about the, uh, the matter is how it's... Despite them being the same different, like, five decks, the same five decks for, like, what, a year now? They all keep swapping around and changing up and all stuff. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really tell, does bring up the point that if Konami ended bring, making Yu-Gi-Oh cards tomorrow, would the game still keep going? Would it change and such like that? 
Okay. And it would literally just remain as what it is now. Like they just turned off making you a card. No more you can get cards ever. It would pretty much be of course Nikos would be the top deck and and that is that including no more ban lists as well? Just they're just dropping Yu Gi Oh and you yeah, get like what you got. Nikos would, like, would just be the best deck in Yu Gi Oh, hands down. There'd be nothing left yeah. to compete though against against them. Uh what? Shadals would still remain alive by fusing with other white decks such as with other white agents such as the clowns and you know the perform ages and the uh, star seraphs. So tellers mm -hmm. would surprisingly would still live because they didn't get hit by worlds because there's no more lists. But now they're probably falling off because of the warring hit of the list upcoming. Um, with the ever popularity of Cosmos going up so, and uh, Tower Turbo being a thing. Uh, Burning Abyss would start to dwindle, yet Cosmos would always be an unfinished deck, you know? But not yeah. only are people hopping on the hype train because it's a decent deck, as of right now, with five cards, but, you know... But it's going to be getting game, more support. It's going to be getting more support, so it's only going to get better from here. Unless the support that we get from now is just so, so absolute garbage that you don't even want to play them cards, and you just remain with what you want. And it's kind of hard to get even worse than Goodwitch, because she really doesn't do anything. You know, She's so. an 18 beta, and that's about it. Yeah, the, and uh, something's you know, like, well, the Cosmos? Yeah, she, and pay, was it, pay 500 to book a Moon Monster? Like, and? And, I guess. Not even, not even during either player's turn. If it was during either player's turn, then that'd actually be pretty fucking good. Yeah, that'd be, no. good, be good. It's uh, just like a... Nope. It's like a Suki only. Ooh! Ooh, so the field troll was activated. Went ahead and summoned uh, the Troll Yali. It's not the biggest fan of that card, but alright. Go to summon the Decrain and was going ahead and hope for the Switch Artifact, but nope. That last card's MST. But that Regeki, that hurt, that hurt bad. That hurt so bad. Oh yeah. Uh, we we could have we could have possibly just been going in the game too, but nope. Once again, we're Gecky saved lives. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. I it, when it comes saves to saves lives and kills others. When it's interesting when it comes to destruction. I still think from both points of view, from TTG and OCG, I both think I'm doing it wrong. Like I don't like the idea of Regeki. I think that's also a dumb card. But you know, at least we got Toronto at one. You know, because when you look at it, we got one Regeki, two Dark Holds, one Toronto. While OCG, they have one Dark Hole, but they have three Toronto. So in retrospect, it's still four four on both sides. But you know, I'd definitely say Torrential's worse than Torrential fucking Dark way Holes. worse. Torrential is definitely <gasps> the strongest. Can get you on any turn. Shit. <laughs> wow. But, you, know, you just ripped that uh, Geki like. <laughs> Wow, and of course, here we go. One of the powerful effects of these guys. I mean, there's no Necro monsters, of course, for pumps, but he can still go ahead and banish to get them here to get set up for the future. In couldn't get cycle? Well, a cycle you have to tribute from your hand or field. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cycle you tribute from your hand or field to summon from your graveyard. Uh, what? Well, Clyde Mirror Skull. Banishes yeah. and Kleidos from Extra. Yeah. So they all have very, <laughs> very good effects. Oh, yeah. And then that second effect, too. If they didn't have that second effect, I definitely don't think you're going to be even remotely as strong as they are. Like, no. That, that effect to go ahead and banish to get them back into the duel with their plays is just so wonderful. <laughs> like, they wanted to make a good ritual deck, and they fucking did it. They fucking did it. So. Made them so good. So we're seeing the summon of a mathematician. Go ahead and send that uh, ruffian. You know what Douglas. I could see Necros doing? Yeah, what? the chug life. Anyway, you know what I, ne I could see Necros doing if they get hit badly enough? What? Sort of going into a weird Gishki Necros deck, because Gishki's uh, spells can summon the Necros because it says for a water ritual. And, and we see Kyle fuck up. Wow, what did he do? He I didn't attack. Him. Oh, yeah. You don't know. Like, really? You that scared? You saw him search for two mirrors. You know he doesn't have, like, a gores or anything in his hand. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Damn, Pops is just talking about good shit. <laughs> uh, visible mirror, Pops. No, there's no Valk in your hand. He clearly just saw you search for two mirrors, so there's no... There's none of that. Don't, don't give him that shit, don't you dare. So Pops goes ahead and draws, and hopefully draws into a monster to at least be able to go ahead and ritual summon and come back into his duel. Nope, doesn't look like it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely dumb on your part. 
You just gave up a good 15 damage. You probably could have ended the Zul this turn. Hopefully you can maybe possibly end it this turn. Can we at least take it to game two, Kyle? I mean, I get that you're not the best trained player in the world. We, we tried to show you plenty of times. And you you never cease to disappoint me with this deck. <laughs> oh, Kyle. Am I wrong? Mm, I mean, he is, Kyle has disappointed me so much with Zelda's like, <laughs> I opened up ass two out of three games with Slate, and I still did more than I mean, I mean, no Zelda offense to you, Kyle, but you, did, we, you disappointed us with Zelda. You disappointed us with Trent. You've never even played your freaking Atlanteans. It's no, it's, it's no wonder that no, you No, you didn't, any, actually. It's no wonder you have no points. It is no wonder. Well, it was a combination of that, and, but it was a combination of uh, bad, a bit of bad deck, a bit of bad playing, and uh, bad luck as well. Because some games, like just you know, Cal probably could have done some stuff if he opened up well, but he didn't. All right, so he's going to go ahead and use switch artifact. So he's going to go ahead and uh, summon a level four, was it level four, eighteen hundred Earth Machine type monster? Of course, one of the targets is of course the uh, Thuggish. The chug life. Yep, chug life. So, the question is, are you gonna allow Pops to plus off the maxi by exiting into a Dora or one of the... I mean, you kinda got to it at this point. Yeah. You kinda got to it. I, I have to take the risk. It's like, yeah. you got it to, would not I mean, be smart to go ahead and leave that... Uh, leave that with, shit like that, like, no. With zero attack. Just Especially when you can, what, you can, I think you can almost end the game, can't he? Who? Uh, Kyle? Kyle? Uh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle yeah, can't 32 do anything. Off the door, 32 off the door, 15 off the mask. Kyle can't do any damage this turn. Oh, right, so okay. Oh, yeah, because of the field spell. Yep. Use the first so, effect he could, but he decided it. to go ahead and use the second effect. I would have used the first effect to discard my hand, torture the crane, and then summon the next person I already have in my hand, plus summon the crane and do that route. And then you could have dished out some damage and had a decrane as a team material. I mean, it's nice to go ahead and have a. Uh, uh, I guess you know, but... Um, I'm actually wouldn't have been a plus. Hmm. Okay, it's a questionable Gustav. Yep. So, Gustav. That was... That does Switch Shot tell you that you can't do battle damage, or...? Battle damage. You can still do a fat damage. Okay. So, Gustav is gonna go ahead and blast it for 2,000. That is fine. No, nope. No point in attacking, because we can't do any damage this turn. And you didn't detach the the thuggish. Oh, uh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Poor Kyle. What? Well, I mean, gonna, gonna go ahead and summon oh, no. that uh that uh Senju, but gets hit with the effect mailer, that main deck effect mailer. Like, yeah. Oh. Then go ahead cycle. and play cycle and summon unicorn. <laughs> unicorn. I always get unicorn and unicorn mixed up all the time. All the time. I'm like, I always say unicorn for unicorn and unicorn for unicorn. Like when I'm like playing like uh, Scepters or something, I'm like you might accept the unicorn. No, unicorn. Wait. <laughs> and here we uh, go. We're gonna see uh, unicorn go ahead and kill the mathematician. Mathematician effect. You want to draw? You want to draw the mathematician? Yes? Kyle. No. Kyle. Is Mathematician mandatory or optional? No, it's optional. Wow, so Kyle didn't want to draw. <laughs> See, and shit like this is why you get to the is why you have zero points. Yep, there I am. I'm like, yep, see, right there. You can draw one card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna go ahead and put that maxi on him again, turning to this uh, special schedule. So, that is fine. Right. The damn, you are just gonna let this man draw up a storm. Okay, cool story. I don't know where you're going. And, I mean, you can end this duel. You can totally end this duel. Just go. Yep. Well, now you, well, now you can't because you can't do any battle sword. damage. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you're right, you're you can do a fat damage going to another Gustav. It's affecting him again because of the unicorn. So you're going to have to run over the unicorn. Oh. And then main phase to blast him. And that would be good. Yeah. Unless, unless yeah. there's a valve to block it. No. 
Why? Oh my god. Are you, are you okay, Flambe? <laughs> Did you just face from Did you just. Wow. The sound effect, and yeah. Can't do shit. Yep. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. 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 Kyle! <laughs> Why are you so fucking bad? <laughs> That's right. It's not like it was like a like an effect or he jumped out the bushes and stabbed you. It was sitting right there on the field. On the fucking field just to stare at. It's the only fucking card he's got out. What the fuck? Oh. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And you let him draw so much off that maxi. You let him draw like what? Three cards? Special schedule. Summon. Your right, film spell. Back. Summon. Draw a card. XC. Draw a card. Wow. You let him go fucking. You let him pot a greed off that fucking. Uh... What? Pretty much. Oh. He took the maxi challenge and he special summon three times. So he let him fucking essentially pot a greed. Wow. No, worse well, than that. No. Worse than yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Green's a plus, one, draw, plus, yeah. plus two. You let him plus two. Now he's about to come back and he's about to beat your ass. I hope it was you worth it. Could have won this duel. Could have won this duel like mo so many times. Yep. Could have if you'd have done the uh, the extra damage with the uh, mathematician. You could have had a chance of winning it because when you did Gustav, I think you could have won it by now. You could if you'd have just run over the unicorn and double Gustav, you could have won. You know. If you uh, you know, you should have drawn off the off the uh, freaking mathematician. Yep. Oh man. Oh, I mean, at least you can't get Do over. stuff you is stop just sitting there protecting you, I guess, yep. for now. So. Up until you draw a card and you don't fucking set it and or play it, and then he's just gonna trish you again, probably. What's the plan? Whatever, whatever that card is, you need to set it. You need to play it. Because if he trishes you again, he can get rid of your Gustav, and then you're fucked. <coughs> set that card. I would get it out of my hand if possible. Fucking get rid of it. What do you mean if possible? Of course you can get rid of it, unless it's like a snowplow hustle rustle or some shit. And you can, if it's a monster, you can set it. If it's a spell trap, you can set it. But what if it's like a night express night? You can fucking pitch it with switchyard. And then do what? Oh, you can at least get rid of it and like, can't you get a um? It was a hustle. Wow. Damn. Wow. Damn. Negage. Negage. So I guess just sit behind that fucking stuff. Goose off booty and cower in fear. <laughs> Are you actually gonna go on the offensive? You probably should. You should. You should quit at this point, Kyle. You should give it up. No, no, no. Kyle's got this. Kyle's got this. I, I believe. Don't you fucking lie. How I dare believe. you? <laughs> you still believe? <laughs> still believing? Eh? Are you still believing? <clears throat> I'm, a be I'm believing he's about to fucking get that ass beat in a minute. That's what I'm believing. <laughs> All right, let's go to game two. I believe I believe game two is gonna be good. I he learned from his mistakes, but to come back game two and win it. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Believe. Don't, don't lie to me. You gotta believe. <laughs> Fuck believing. Damn, poor Parappa. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... go ahead and pitch the brio. You could have, couldn't you just summon the Brio and Brio just bounce back the the good stuff, Mike? There's, there's a handful yeah. of ways you can go ahead and wrap yeah. this up. Wow, you're just gonna pitch and search for that. Oh, XC is turned to Castile, that's it. Well, I would say that was a good duel, but it wasn't. <laughs> it, made, it made me dumber as a person, it killed brain cells. 
GG. What? Watching that has killed brain cells. It was that bad. Ah, no, it wasn't that bad. Let Go me guess. Game, game, game two is going to be worse, isn't it? No. <laughs> no. I can, I can tell by the way you're talking. It's going to be fucking worse. Dude, fucking, fucking... How much is it? We got six minutes left in this video. Fucking Kyle's about to come back and get game two and three and like... Yeah, in fucking three minutes apiece. Yep. My... My cock he is. <laughs> My fucking dong he is. Look, Kyle is the best train player ever. This is he is all about the chug life and you you're not even about that life, alright? My ass can play trains better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This man just fucking just takes his, just sits on his deck, rubs his ass around, is like GG I win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you I just sit on your deck, shake, could... shake your ass around, stand up, turn around, look, and then it's just a fucking field with like three doors and shit. No. No, but yeah, I could play trains better on Dev Pro by getting my dick and slapping it against the keyboard randomly, and then it'd fucking work. Damn. Say it to his face. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but your trains, like, you chose the deck too. He chose both trains and sells them. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> so, it looks like Kyle's inside. I have no idea what he's inside against Sneakers. I mean, he might and have that's something. That's how you edited all this. I mean, I mean that, fuck that. Exactly. Fuck that. And you go on to me about my editing. No, because you said you were going to edit. I didn't say shit. I'm busy. I... I'm a busy man. I, I got shit to do. All right? Well, watching fucking Dora the Explorer doesn't count, all right? Alright, so, no mulligans for neither one of them, we got Skyo going first, what you got? Uh-huh. Really? Really? <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> That's what he gets for using his mulligan. <laughs> Once for duel, people. Once for duel. You gotta use it wisely. I'm not going to face palm, I'm going to face shoe. Damn. We got Manju, which Manju gonna search? Manju search. I'm just gonna keep uniform. doing this until I die or get knocked out. One of the two. Go ahead and play that Kaleido, yep. Send summon search. Damn. He's about to go and beat that ass. Damn, so he sent the fucking Quasar to summon he is a... both Unicorn and Valk. Wow. Um, wow, he is about is to go. Me. He's about to go and beat that ass. That is almost game. You're just gonna fucking. Make a cowboy and make him come after it? Or what's up? We're just gonna leave it like that. Valkyrie's of course still expensive as hell. Nikar's still expensive. Oh, Valkyrie's effect. Go ahead and tribute those two. Draw two. Okay. Because why the fuck not? Why, why not? Why not? Go ahead and set that MST for your failed spell. Come on. Well. Go on. Please. Go on. Please play your field spell and get MST'd again. Please do something, please. Don't don't go out like this, Kyle. Don't do it, Kyle. I mean, you've got one duel, one more duel next week to win a point, Kyle. Oh fuck this! <laughs> Santi, come back! Don't leave. Oh fuck this! I'm done. <laughs> I'm over here. Fucking see you later. That's it. I'm off to the fucking Bahamas or some shit. I don't care. I'm going somewhere nice. I don't want to go watch this. Fuck that. <laughs> Sazi, look at you, did, Kyle. I'm, I'm gonna go get a drink. Fuck this. Damn. But there's so much more to watch. Don't leave. This duel wasn't over. It's not over. He's grabbing the shit. Oh my god. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's it. 
Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. 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 Is that game? Is that game? It has to be game. Look at all these unnecessary plays and shit. Just attack this man. That's it. Wrap this duel up. Wrap it up, B. Is that it? Wrap this shit up. Right, but, oh, yeah, he's lost. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I came back and saw him. I was like, yeah, he's lost. Wrecked. Hashtag wrecked right but, there. Damn. Okay, I'm fucking hashtag raped, not wrecked. This should be. <laughs> All right, people. Well, there, there you go. Well, oh, I would like to thank everyone for the uh, to watch this uh, this uh, live action porno uh, on YouTube because uh, Kyle just lost his virginity. So that, but it was sex for everyone. Damn. Well, finally, uh, Pops has one point, people. Finally. All right, Kyle, you better win one point next. next. Uh, Kyle, you get, come on, next week. Come bring on, man. Bring the fucking Atlanteans. Bring the fucking Atlanteans oh, bust out. Bust the Atlanteans out, Kyle. Bust we the Atlanteans out. It. We want to see the fucking Atlanteans. Because at this point, you're not making it to the playoffs. So can we at least see the deck? Can we at least see what you're working with? All right, I'm people. Okay. So I hope that you so guys enjoyed that micro the ass whooping. Oh, so disappointed in that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So, thank you, Sanzi, for joining me like usual. I will. Thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow with some more uh, League. Alright, people, thanks for watching.